Let's continue with the 3D floor lamp exercise. Now we have reached on to the second part of this video. Hope you have successfully finished the first part of it. Next we will create the framework which actually holds this fabric. I'll go to layer palette and I'll keep uh, the framework layer as the active layer. Now I'll switch over to wireframe representation by changing the visual style. And I'll just zoom this area and you can see some construction lines over here. These construction lines are not required. You, you can erase those lines. So I gave erase command. I've selected this and using a standard window, I've selected uh, this line, which you have used for a revolving purpose. So I have erased that as well. This is the right time to create two viewports. So I'll click on the view tab and I'll select a viewport configuration and I'll click on two vertical. Now you can see that your screen got subdivided into two subscreens. I'll just magnify the fabric part over here and I'll just activate this viewport by clicking and I'll select uh, the top hotspot in the view cube to get a top view in this viewport. Now I'll just activate this viewport again and I'll draw a polyline by selecting the polyline tool. I'll just click on the start point over here. Then if you want, you can see that same point over here by just clicking over here, you can activate it and uh, just shift right click, go to O snap menu and you select the nearest option and you give a small distance. Okay. I'll just pick a point over here. Now this a segmental line is to be mirrored. Okay. For that, just go to modify panel and you select mirror from here and you select this object. First point on the mirror line, you can click here. Next point, you can click here. So you have defined a horizontal axis. Just give an enter. You have got the mirror image of this small segment line over here. You can just join these segments by selecting join from the modify panel and you select it. Now it got joined. Now you can just give an offset command. Okay. So I'll give offset from here. When I'm asked to give the offset distance, I'll give say 0.15. Uh, that means 1.5 millimeters. Then this is the object to offset and you can select a point on this side uh, to define the side to offset. Now you can just connect these two endpoints using segments. I'll give polyline again. And I'll connect these two points using segments and these points as well. And you go to modify panel, go to join option, you need to select these profiles. Now you have made a single profile. Now I'll extrude this profile along a path to create the side frame. So the ideal object that can be used to create the path is the spline. So just click on the spline tool. Now you have to pick points to create the spline. So I'll click on that. Now it'll ask you to select the start point. I'll pick the start point. Then you can keep picking as many points. If you pick more number of closer points, it'll be an accurate spline. It will exactly follow this particular profile. So I'll just click this endpoint as well as this endpoint. Now I don't have to pick any more points. So just give an enter to exit the spline command. So you have made the spline path. Now you can give extrude command, select extrude. You just select the profile that is to be extruded. Now go to path option, click on the path and you select this particular path. So we have made the frame, the single frame on the side. Next, we have to create multiple copies of the side frame. For that, you can give array classic command, give array classic in 2013 and in lower versions, you can give array. Now it'll ask you to select the objects to be arrayed. Just give L to select the most recently created object, L for last. Now it'll ask you whether you want rectangular or polar array. I need a polar array. Now it will ask you for the center point of the array. Just click on uh, the pick center point option and you define this center point. Okay, that point as a center. Now it will ask you for the number of items. I'll give six as the number of items. Now I need the whole 360 degree array. You can just preview it. Okay, that's perfectly fine. And you can just give okay to apply it. So we have made side frames. Now we have to create the bottom and the top frames. For that, you have to start with a polyline. So I'll select polyline. Start point, I'll pick here. And for the next point, I'll use this end point. Okay, that is an excellent point. And for the rest of the points, you can activate the top viewport and uh, you can select 
because in the top viewport you can see all the points clearly so i'll just keep picking the points okay then you can just give a close now we have to give an offset command okay so i'll give offset when i'm asked to give the offset distance i can give the value say 0 0.25 okay then select object is this and the side is selected the outer side now you can give an extrusion so i'll give extrude I'll select these two profiles that are to be extruded and the height of extrusion I am asked height of extrusion I'll give 0.7 now we have to subtract from the outer the inner object so I'll give subtract I'll select the outer one just give an enter and select the inner one and enter so we have made a frame okay in the bottom now the same sequence of steps is to be repeated to the top to create the top frame so I'll start with a polyline. I'll uh, select the end point over here. This is the first point. Okay. And the rest of the points can be picked in the top we put. I'll select this as a second point. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth one I'll pick here. The next one and the last one. I'll just give a close to connect it now give offset i'll give offset offset distance is again the same 0.25 select object to offset side to offset then i'll give extrude i'll select these two profiles and height of extrusion is i'll give minus 0.7 minus 0.7 then you give a subtract i'll give subtract and from the outer I'll select enter then inner enter okay so we have made all the frames just shade it take a realistic representation to see what you have done at this point it will be better if you can combine all the frames into a single object so what I'll do is I'll go to layer panel and I'll select the layer walk option button just click on layer walk option layer walk option will let you uh, see or isolate any desired layer I'll just click on a uh, framework for example only that particular object is displayed okay which are kept on the framework layer and if you just click on close and just click on continue uh, you can see that object you can isolate that object in fact okay so I'll go to union and I'll select all this to combine this into a single object okay now you can go back to the previous state of layers so just go to layer palette and click on layer previous button so you have got the layers back so we have created the top part of the floor lamp next we have to make the central metallic support let us get the diameter of that particular support so i'll go back to the 2d file and here the diameter is given as three centimeter and uh, that support has got some designs over here these designs can be easily sketched using polyline okay so i'll go back to the 3d file and i'll go to view tab and i'll select viewport configuration and i'll click on single to get a single viewport configuration next i'll go to a friend view you can get a friend view either by clicking on the friend hotspot in the view cube or by going to view tab or you can select a friend view from here if you select friend view from here along with the friend view your ucs will also get aligned with that view okay so i have done that now i'll just give an offset command okay so i'll go to home tab and i'll select offset and i'll offset distance of 1.5 i should give which is half the actual diameter of 3 centimeter 1.5 so i'll select the object to offset and side to offset okay now you can just uh, sketch the profiles using a polyline so you can just extend this line a little bit up okay just straight up you can extend it then you can start from this end point okay the polyline can be drawn but before you draw the polyline you have to activate the corresponding layer so the layer is support layer so I'll just activate it now I'll just use a polyline I'll start from here then I'll go to arc then I'll select second point type S then I'll select this as a second point and this is the next point okay then you are still in the arc mode now you have to come back to the line so go to L type the letter L to come back to line mode 
then you can just pick a point over here okay pick a point over here then you can just turn off the O snap by pressing the F3 key now just turn off the ortho also by pressing the F8 then you have to do that sketching okay that design is there you have to make that design just click on that point I just roughly sketch that and I'll pick a point here then come back to line mode then you pick a point over here okay then you go to arc mode by typing the letter A then you select second point option and you pick a point over here okay then you can come back to this point okay now you just you are still in the arc mode so type L to come back to line mode then you can just press F8 key to turn the ortho mode on and now you have reached up till here then you pick a point over here then back to this okay then there is another arc okay then you select second point and you pick a second point over here then you pick the end point over here I'll pick this point come back to line then pick a point over here this is not according to dimensions I'm doing okay just with the by keeping in mind the proportions I'm working on this you can give exact dimensions and and if you want you can work that way also so I want to get this point here for that you can use point filters okay if you need any clarifications on point filters you can refer to my exclusive lesson on point filters so I'll go to point filters dot x off can be extracted from here so turn on the O snap uh, select the x coordinate from here and point filters dot y off this end point then you come back to this from here you can connect with this end point so that's all so we have created a profile now you can give a revolve command on this profile so I'll select revolve from here okay then it will ask you to select the object to revolve this is the one to revolve then it will ask you to select the object that has to be defined as an axis so that axis can be selected using the object option okay so just give an enter to execute the object option you select this object that will be taken as the axis then it will ask you whether you want a full revolution yes I need 360 degree full revolution just give an enter to accept that so we have created the central support now you can change your view by going to the view tab and you select a southwest isometric click on that you have got the southwest isometric now you can increase the number of segments along the curvular face by going to the face at rest variable so go to face at rest variable and give the value 10 that is the maximum value that can be given you just give it now it will appear like a, a smooth surface change your view to a realistic representation see the level of detailing you have incorporated okay just orbit it a bit to see the central detailing which have incorporated okay so this is what you have done now we can assign a fabric material onto the fabric part of this floor lamp so what I'll do is I'll go to render and I'll go to material browser and I'll select uh, the fabric section and I have a leather here and I'll select this particular brown fabric leather material and I'll select this fabric part by clicking and select the material right click assign to selection now it has got the material now it will appear like a realistic floor lamp so even if it is a simple object in the process of doing it we have learned very many things you can also try to modify this floor lamp to create different types of other lamps for example by reducing the height of this floor lamp you can create a bedside lamp likewise feel free to experiment with various possibilities of this exercise and you can come out with interesting results so please be patient enough to follow this exercise step by step and I wish you the very best.